In this video, I'll show you how to pattern a boater. Then afterwards, I'll demonstrate how to prepare the shapes for wiring. To fully wire the pieces, refer to the video link in the description below. A boater consists of a covered crown attached to a flat brim at the head size line. You can make them to fit your head or small and mounted to a headband. For this demonstration, I'll be making a small version. The boater parts are the brim, which extends from the base of the crown, the tip, which is the very top of the hat, and the crown, which connects the tip and the brim to each other. When the tip and the crown are joined, we call this connected part of the hat the crown. For this part of the project, you will need paper, the provided head size information, see description for link to download, a head size template, You'll need pins, an eraser, a mechanical pencil, and make sure you draft a mechanical pencil only for a finer line. I'll be demonstrating in marker so you can see what I'm drawing. A non-retractable measuring tape. Paper scissors that will cut both paper and buckram. An awl or a push pin will work. And to complete the boater, you will need heavyweight buckram. Only use heavyweight buckram for this, don't use anything lighter. The sample I'm making is set off of the head size, so the measurement doesn't matter for fitting. If you want to make this for your head, you will need to measure your head size measurement, plus ease. To measure your head size measurement, measure around your head where you want the hat to sit. Once you have your measurement, you will need to add wearing ease. You will need to add at least one half inch of ease to compensate for hair and construction. You can add as much as you want or need. My mannequin is 20 and a quarter, so adding a half inch ease will give me 20 and three quarters. You can see that there is plenty of room for physical construction of the hat. This way, the head size does not constrict the head. For my sample, I'm using a small template. You can find the small templates included with the others in the link in the description. Begin by drawing a straight line. Draw a perpendicular line in the middle. Place the template on the axis and line up the notches. Trace around the template and label Boater Tip. Since my head size plus ease is 15 inches, I'm going to draft a crown that is 15 inches long. Start with a straight line that is a little bit longer than you need. Decide how tall you want your crown to be. In this case, it's two inches, but you can make it as tall as you want. On one end, draw a perpendicular termination line. From that line, measure out the head size measurement, in this case, 15 inches, and draw a termination line at that point. On one end from the termination line, measure out two inches. This is a sort of seam allowance that we can use to overlap the ends when constructing the boater. Label this piece boater crown. For the brim, draw a straight line on the paper. Draw a perpendicular line in the middle. Center your template on the axis lines matching notches and trace around the template. You can make your brim as wide as you want, in any shape you want, but the wider it is, the more difficult it can be to sew because it's harder to hold on to. For this sample, I'm going to be making a simple circle. From the long end, center front or center back, measure out the desired brim width. I'm using two inches. Make a mark. Always measure a brim from the longest edge of the template line. Because we measured from a long end, our circular brim is going to be wider at the sides because the head is an oval. You will not notice this small difference in the finished hat. 
Measure from the mark to the axis center and record the measurement. My measurement is 4 and 5 eighths inch. On a scrap of oak tag or cardstock, draw a straight line and mark one end. Measure the brim to center measurement. For me, that is 4 and 5 eighths inch. Make a hole big enough for your pencil to fit through and a smaller hole at the original mark for the push pin. With an awl or push pin, place the small hole at the axis center. Draw a full circle around the template. Label this piece Boater Brim. For some alternate designs, if you want a consistent oval, follow the curve of the head size shape. If you want an irregular shape, just draw the shape you want outside of the head size line. It doesn't have to be consistent, and it can be asymmetrical. If you want a square shape, draw straight lines outside of the head size shape. For my sample, this is what my draft looks like so far. On the brim, add 3 quarter inch seam allowance to the inside of the head size line. This helps us attach the crown later. Note on the pieces the cutting instructions. For the tip, cut one of buckram and one of fabric with an added seam allowance. On the brim, you will cut one of buckram, including the inside seam allowance, and two of fashion fabric, also including the inside seam allowance. On the crown, cut one of buckram and one of the fashion fabric with added seam allowance. More about how to cut the fabric for the boater will be explained in the construction video since it's a little confusing right now. Label the original termination lines center back. Now you can cut out the paper pattern pieces. This is how my paper pattern looks. Fold the crown in half to the center back lines and mark the center. This fold represents center front. Clip or notch the notches. One method of marking the head size line on the brim is to punch holes in the drawn line. The hole should be about every half inch. Be sure to mark the axis line holes as they meet the head size line. Label the long ends of the brim center front and center back. Mark notches on the access lines at the seam allowance edge. Notch or clip the inside access lines on the seam allowance. Lay out your pattern pieces on a piece of buckram, keeping the crown on the lengthwise or cross grain, not the bias. Pin all the pieces to the buckram. Cut out all the buckram pieces. On the brim, cut out the center hole outside the seam allowance. Mark all the notches onto the buckram. 
I'm using a marker so you can see what I'm doing, but use a pencil for less noticeable lines through the fabric. If you made the drill holes, mark those too. Because I used a marker, I can see through the buckram and I can mark the head size line that way. Be sure to mark the head size line at the notches. Mark center front and center back on the crown. Mark all the notches on the tip. Here are all of my pieces marked. Following the video link in the description, wire and cover the entire edge of the tip. Wire and cover the outer edge of the brim. The finished edge will look like this for both the tip and the brim. For the crown, loop the two center back lines together and pin them in place. Test that the wired tip fits snugly into the looped crown by placing it in the pinned crown. There should be no looseness in the fit. If the crown is too loose or too tight, adjust the pins at center back so the tip fits in snugly. We're going to join the center backs together with a running backstitch all the way around the seam allowance square. I'm showing you what the stitch looks like to the outside, but try to keep the long running threads to the inside of the buckram. Anchor your thread, then stitch around the two inch seam allowance. You are taking a stitch, then one stitch behind it, and then carrying it forward. Really any stitch will work here, but I prefer a running back stitch because it's more secure than a lot of other stitches. You can see that the other edges have the small stitch to the outside and the long stitch to the inside. Once you have sewn all the way around, knot your thread and clip, leaving a short tail. Now, wire the two edges of the crown as described in the wiring video. Try to keep the joiner on one of the long sides of the oval where it will rest flatter. Now that all of my necessary edges are wired, my pieces look like this. And this is how the boater will assemble once it has been covered with fabric. In the next video, I'll show you how to cover this with fabric and complete the construction. I hope you enjoy this video and look forward to the boater construction video soon as well as other millinery videos in the near future.